Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me as well as yourself being able to see through the smoke screens that darkness tries so hard to put in front of your face just to carry you, you know, away from your focus. So with that being said, much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough I would love the chance to hear from you and get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the content of the uh, the positive feedback of the content of my video that's what I meant to say or if it's about your empathic uh, your empathic give the has been placed upon you, you can talk about that as well i don't know what's getting wrong with me and my outro today and um if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you some good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me it's greatly appreciated and i hope that uh, you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Yeah, today I'm listening to Angel Trans Transmission, uh, all nine all nine Sofigo frequencies at one level, 100 vibrations, ascension waves, uh, 3.5 hertz. So I will post that link in the description box below. That's pretty powerful uh, meditation, I should say. Um, today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Heoka surrender and release the parts of your life that are not, that are not working for you. There's a lot of things that we could be heading towards and aiming towards and there's just certain things in our life that can truly be exhausting to deal with. It can be emotionally and mentally drained. And it's like when I see certain numbers, you know, there's things that could be pondering around in my mind or, you know, old feelings or old memories that will pop up. And I'm trying so desperate to let go of those. That's when I start calling on angels, you know, my archangels. You know, Mike talked to Archangel Michael, Mike, uh, Arch Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel, all these different ones um, that are there to help assist us with a lot of things that we're trying so desperately to go through, get through, or just leave alone. You know, so it's just like, you know, if it's anything that is like, you know, stopping your growth, um, bringing negative vibes towards your way, uh, any painful memories that, you know, might still you know still have an effect on you they're asking you to release these things I have to release them all the time you know it could be I could be in a good mood and next thing you know a, a thought will come back up and all of a sudden it put me right back five steps back and I get so frustrated with myself at times because you know you can go ten paces forward and it t just takes that one memory or just a, a phrase or something they'll make you go back into that negative mindset and that's what they want us to do to be able to let go of those things because there's so many beautiful things that are coming towards our way and we, we if we're so busy focused on the things that are not serving us in that right you know in that right frequency that keeps uh, bringing you know uh, negative stuff towards your way you know it can be really scary so it's just like going through all these different things it can really put you in a, a downward spiral like it'll make you feel like your life is like going crazy but when they're trying to give you indications that one door is closing and another one's about to open but you can't it, it can't fully open until you're able to release everything that is putting a halt in your life hindering you or keeping you at a low frequency because they truly want the best for you and it's just like that we we need to be aligned you know we have to be balanced and all these different things coming towards our way that are really good for us you know it it, it will it is just like the ego wants to take over and just like oh this and this and this and that saying all different things that you know oh it's not going to be what you want or oh it's going to take forever for you to get what you want or you know it's not going to happen so why do you keep focusing on it you know egos tell you so many negative things being negative nancy all the way with you but you cannot be paying attention to what ego says because ego is so stuck on not changing 
you know, and I have to keep saying that because I, I know if I'm going through it, I know somebody else is because y'all resonate with me too much, <laughs> you know, so we were going through different things, and especially when you're going through this crazy karmatic cycle that you are going through, it will have you make you think that things is never going to turn out right for you. So why even try? You you know you do. You know you, you got things coming towards your way. But, you know, um, ego will have you thinking that nothing is never going to come right for you. Or your blessings aren't going to show. Or, you know, even though you're taking a leap of faith, they're trying to make you seem like God and universe is going to abandon you. Even though you might not know where that road is taking you. You know, you're taking that leap of faith into the unknown. That's when, that's when faith is supposed to kick in. You know, you have faith in the universe that better days are coming for you. They're not going to lead you all the way out to pasture just to let you go. You know, especially, you know, when when they take those cows, those sick cows and sick animals to pasture. It, it's a sad thing, but you know what happens when that happens. But that's not what's going to happen for you. They just want you to be able to let them go. Let whatever, whatever darkness that holds you back for you to set that free you know things are not going to work for you but you things get constantly taken away from you that's why i have to just tell myself yeah things have been taken from me left and right left and right but you already know better things are about to be replaced for the things that has been taken away from you i know life might seem unfair to you that people get away with murder basically people get away with things but you never know what's happening behind the scenes that's about to pop off and come off in your favor in your favor so you have to keep you know you have to keep prayed up you have to keep that faith strong believe within yourself believe in the things that you you know you want in your life you're going through this for a reason if it was too easy it won't last anyway you know so anything that you're thriving hard for and you know you worked hard for it when you finally get where you need to get you're gonna look back at your past and see all the pain sweat and tears and everything that you had to go through just to get where you you are and you're going to be so grateful for it because then you're going to know that you earned it and it's just at times we have gone through so many heartache and you know hardship and heartache that's what i meant to say hardship and heartache that we feel we're not worthy for these things you have to know that you are worthy for them you you deserve these things anytime something because sometimes people can go through so many jacked up situations when things come off for you in a good blessing you were like no nah, that ain't for me why why are you sending that for me you know and you need to not do that you have to be accepting to those gifts that you know universe tries to place into your life you know it might be something hard to swallow like little old me i got this and this and that Yes, because you deserve these things. You know, you've been through so many, you know, bumps and scrapes and setbacks and mistakes and, you know, flaws and whatever you've been through. You know, you deserve these good things that are coming towards your life because you truly deserve it. You worked hard for these things. So don't ever feel like, you know, things are not going to turn around for you. But they are, but it's just going to be when you least expect it. It's not going to get, it's not going to come when you want it to. Trust me, I know that. You know, it ain't going to come when you want it to. But when universe, God, source, creator, and all of them see that you're trying, the things that, you know, that you know you can't fix on your own, you that's when you, you let universe and them kick in and help you with that task as well. You know, there are so many times I had, you know, when I, I'm like in my dark moments and I'm just crying to the point I can't breathe, I have to go to the creator. I have to go to God, source, and everything and ask them to take away this pain that I feel like I can't let go of. And it just seems like all of a sudden I feel, I feel all these chills coming around me. It's like all my, my spirit guides and um, archangels are putting their hands on me for me to be able to release these things that I truly don't need to you know hold on to anymore we hold on to our pain and sorrow like security blankets and that's something we sure enough don't need to be holding on to you need to hold on things that make you feel good it makes you feel like you know things are going to come around things are going to get better you know no successful person has ever you know got successful without mistakes a time or two they had to to fail a couple of times for them to be able to get it right so don't think just because this happened for somebody else it can't happen for you so i hope you're able to uh resonate with the content in this video much love to you i'm giving my post notification shout out to uh with expectancy spirit girl and uh laura uh one uh 1966 
Much love to you. Sending out love and blessings and love and light and uplifting, comforting vibes towards your way. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And better days are coming for you. So send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Remember, drop me a line. Uh, hit the notification bell. Like and subscribe. Thumbs up. Share the video. You know, drop me a line so I can give you a, a, a post notification shout out in my next video. And I'll see you on my next one. Much love to you. Peace. And be wild.